Hi, I'm Brian with the Experimental Aviation Team, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our GMA245 and GMA245 Bluetooth-capable audio panels. The biggest difference between the GMA245 and the 245R is the 245 is a dedicated panel mount product that can be either integrated with G3X Touch or used completely as a standalone audio panel in a separate installation. The GMA245 is designed to be integrated with the G3X Touch. Both audio panels have a dedicated USB charging port on the front. This demo will be primarily focused on the G3X Touch user interface, but you'll notice throughout the demo that the enunciator lights on the GMA245 follow with the selections on the G3X Touch display. The common mic selection can be done from the top of your G3X Touch display. To change which comm you're actively transmitting on, select the mic button here. The comm button will turn on and off the standby monitor function. Under the audio button, the first tab we have is the radios tab. This allows the same selection of the comm, active comm, standby comm, nav audio. It allows you to use the split comm feature, which separates comm one for the pilot and comm two for the co-pilot. So both can have their own radio for transmitting and receiving. The speaker audio, if you have a speaker in your cabin and want to listen to ATIS before you start the engine. We have a clearance recorder function that plays back the last 60 seconds of transmission and also allows you to skip back to previous transmissions. Under the More Options button, you'll find there's additional aux radio inputs that can be used here. The Monitor Mute button will mute all other audio sources when you receive a comm transmission. Under the Intercom tab, I have control of my crew isolation modes. Pilot Isolate, Notice enunciation under the audio button that you have pilot isolation on and the crew isolate. The crew isolate enunciation here. So if you have people in the back seat and you want to limit the distractions, you can use that mode. Now, if I had a GMA 245R in this installation, I would also have the ability to adjust all of the intercom volume from this tab. Since I have the GMA 245, I have dedicated volume knobs for pilot, intercom, volume, co-pilot and passenger intercom volume. Under the More Options tab, I can turn on and off my 3D audio feature that spatially separates COM1 and COM2, so you can better distinguish between the two transmissions. Under Muting, I can choose which sources of audio are muted when I receive a radio transmission. So I can have the radio mute the intercom, I can have the radio mute the music, and I can also choose to have talking on the intercom mute the music as well. Most people will leave that feature off. So now we're going to switch to the phone and media tab. For this part of the demo, I'm going to switch to headset audio so you can get a better idea of what the music and phone interface experience is like with the GMA245 and 245 audio panels. Okay, so now we've switched over to our headset audio. I'm gonna to go to the phone and media tab. This is where you'd come to pair your device. So in this example, I've already paired my phone and you can see my phone signal strength, the battery level, um, the telephone status is active, I've got media available. At the top of the screen, I've already got some music queued up on my phone. Uh, so all I gotta do is push play on the G3X Touch. No need to dig your phone out of your pocket or anything like that. I can skip forward tracks, I can skip back. If I happen to receive a phone call, I've got a telephone audio button right down here that determines whether or not I can hear the ringer coming in and things like that. So look at that, I've got a phone call coming in. You can see the enunciator up here with the TEL. Also the enunciator on the GMA245 is flashing at me. I'm gonna go ahead and answer the call after I turn on the telephone audio. And that's it, the call's active. I've got my caller ID there at the top of the screen. I can adjust the volume. But I'm gonna go ahead and end. And then my music comes back on. Over on the music input tab, this is where you control the music distribution and the extra music effects that the audio panel has. Right now it's set up in normal distribution. 
So all of the positions in the aircraft are gonna follow the same audio source that's selected for the pilot. If I turn the music on or off here, or if I change the source from Bluetooth to Sirius XM or to another input like a DVD player, everybody's gonna hear the same thing. If I change the distribution to the advanced mode, now I can independently control the positions for the pilot, co-pilot, and passengers. So now my pilot's listening to Bluetooth music, my passenger maybe want to switch from Sirius XM over to the Bluetooth so he can hear what I'm listening to, and the passengers in the back might be watching a DVD. So again, I can turn my audio sources on and off, adjust the music volume. For music volume for the pilot and co-pilot, I have dedicated knobs up here on the GMA245. So pilot on the left side, co-pilot on the big knob on the right side. If I was using a GMA245R, the volume control would show up on the right hand side here just like it does for the passengers. With the music effects, I have the ability to set up an equalizer. So now I can change from classical, rock, pop, or turn that off if I want to. And I have bass effects, so I can turn on medium or high boost. Well, that's it. That's the basic overview of the GMA245 and the GMA245 Bluetooth capable audio panels. The only thing you have to worry about is when you get to that destination, you shut down the engine, you may just run your battery out listening to the music. 